try not to have gay sex with Eve 3 in 3D, I'm going to show you how to win it. So if you could got stuck, here's where you get to find out. And and like I said before, for those who came in late, I'm going to be putting up a walkthrough on the Patreon. It'll be free to access, so you don't have to give me money if you don't feel like it. You'll still get to see the walkthrough. Um, but I'll put it up there and you can check it out. Um, but you won't need it if you watch, so let's get on with it. Here's the yeah, usual music. Um, the reason why the music sounds like that is because it's two things. It's Rhodes keyboard and it's blue scale. Two things that I've, I've always said that I don't particularly care for in a lot of K-pop. So I'd, when I wrote the theme tune for this, I deliberately used both. Um, it's my way of saying, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> so here's, here you are, here's Chu here. As Chu, you start off in the bad thoughts room. Um, and... You can see there's 12 little um, containers all for the 12 lunar girls and so you're in container number 10 obviously so you can go into any one of the others and yeah and that's just your little intro to to life there's a sign on here saying you're in the bad thoughts room so so you're aware of it and here's a tutorial here um, I watched a um, someone actually playtest the first Try Not To Have Sex With Eve's game. Um, and, um, and they missed the tutorial book. They searched all the way through the, the opening area house and they missed it completely, missed a book that was sitting on a table that was a tutorial. Um, I think that was Plan 5 who did that one. And and I was like, damn, I've got to make it more obvious next time I do one of these. So I made it super obvious that there's a tutorial book. Um, so you can go up to here and you go to tutorial. And yeah, welcome to the game. Tells you how to play the game. Um... So yeah, just and it's just saying don't don't do anything, just go straight to the teleport. Um, and if you go to the clock that ends the game, you go to the eaves that ends the game. This is eaves sitting here. Um, and it just explains what a teleport is. So there we go. Now, all right. So how do you win? So the first. You've got a kitchen here, and you've got a. Um, you can go down here, and you get stopped by a wall. Um, so you can't go any further that way, and you've got some some dorms over here. Um, and it just says, you know, if you that you know, Luna girls now have small dorms because we can't trust them, um, and all the beds are messy. And you've got a, um, you've got some toilets. And there's a cleaner in there. Um, why are some of the beds different? Um, I don't know. Just, I just figured, I just thought it'd be fun to make the beds a bit different and to have some of the beds in different states of being made. So I figure Yonjin's bed is just a bed that doesn't have any stuff on it. Um, no mattress on it. Maybe it's been changed or something, who knows. So, no real reason for it. If you go over to it and have a look at it, sheets and pillows are missing, I'm not sure why. So, um, yeah, there's no real reason. But I just want to have the beds in various states of not being made. Because, as you can see, this is locked off for cleaning. And one of the little quirks about this game is that um, things change a bit, like, depending on the time and where you are. And one thing that happens is a cleaner goes through, she goes from the female toilets, later on she's in the male toilets, and then later on in the game she visits each one of these four dorm areas separately and cleans them. And as she cleans them all, she makes the beds. Um, so, 
and you can say different things to her as she does it as well there's different interactions and that's one of the fun things i decided to do in this game was just make some things a bit more dynamic so it wasn't just a static environment so as time went on and you progress through the game things that actually had nothing to do with you would change a little um just something i just sort of throw in so so that's the extent of your movement so far you can't go to the outside yet because it's wet it's raining if you um so the vending machine is um so you start off with 150 doge and you can buy um a ring of rain protection perfume or instant coffee um the instant coffee is useless and if you buy it you actually lose the game straight away <laughs> because then you can't buy the other items that you need to complete the game so it's this is the only way that you can stuff up your game completely is by buying the instant coffee so and you can't drink the coffee it's just useless you just wasted 10 doji you can't get back so um so what you have to do is you have to buy both of these items you need the rain protection ring because um chew can't go outside excuse me <coughs> <coughs> She doesn't want to go outside because it's wet. She, she can't go out here. And Golwan's pass is out there. So you need the rain protection for that. And you need the perfume to get into Golwan's room. So we'll both buy the ring of rain protection. Now we're one doge short for the perfume. We've got 50 and the perfume's 51. So, but we're just going to go into and get Golwan's pass. Now we can go out. So this is, um, these sound effects are actually from my, they're not actually default from RPG Maker, they're actually from my keyboard workstation. The same one that I used to um, create all the tunes. <laughs> As is the thunder effect. You've even got um, realistic sound effects with the thunder where you get the flash first and then you hear the thunder later on. Let's see, there's a flash. And then you got to wait a few seconds. Then, then you hear the thunder. Um, so anyway, we can pick up Golan's path here. Pass here. This um, you can also see this pathway down here um, in the bottom right, and that's just sort of giving you the hint that yes, there's somewhere you can go to later. So we just go back up. Now we can go into Golan's room. Go on, Rex. I can't visit her room if it's smelling like that. So she won't go any further to meet Go on because she smells too much. So we got to go get the perfume. Now we can't buy the perfume now. The where to where do you get the coin? You go to this couch. Um, you got to search. When you search a couch, you have to search each pillow separately. So if you search the left side, you find nothing. You find the search the right side. There you go you get you get the the coin um and this is introducing the player to the idea that if you search items in different areas you might get different results so that's something that is important as a game because that comes up elsewhere as well um if you go to this one there's also a choose key card now choose key card is actually useless you don't need it to win the game it gives you access to choose room, which is this one. And there's only two things here. There's an apple, basket of apples. You can grab an apple. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> and there's just a little book here. Um, just her notebook. And that's it. There's, <laughs> it has no other purpose. Um, so we can, now we can go into Goan's room. And she, she says again, oh, I can't visit. Oh, hang on, I've got perfume. Oh, hang on. I haven't bought the perfume yet. Sorry, I've got to go buy the perfume first. Um, so, go here. Buy the perfume. Now I've got enough money. Go back up. And then, hang on, i got the perfume. I can use it to mask the scent of Gohan's mega body odour. There we go. Not really a, the best perfume sound effect, but hey, I, it'll do. Um, 
All right, so now we can go in and out of here fine. And so now here's Go On. And this is Go On's 3D machine for all the 3D areas. Um, so we'll talk to Go On, see what she's got to say. What are you doing all this stuff? I'm trying to get my 3D machine working. What's a 3D machine? You know, how you can go up and down, there's, and there's also left and right. There's <laughs> my series screen, also a third dimension in and out. Um, so, why are you making a 3D machine? So us Lunar Girls can do all the things we're not allowed to do in the second dimension. Our contract doesn't state anything about third dimensional activities. So, um, so Chu now gets very excited about going to the third dimension and going in and out with Eves. Um, and going and saying, well, it doesn't work, so can you help me get it going? Um, so you can get the shifting span. Now the shifting span is in the toilets. Now it's possible to talk to go on with our, once you've already got the spanner and do things the other way around and then sh and then you get a conversation it's like oh I just happened to have a spanner um, but we'll just go down and get the spanner from the men's toilets you can search the toilet sign by the way I mean that means no lunar girls um, there we go shifting spanner Maybe I can shift myself closer to Eve's. Um, if she looks at this, <laughs> she reckon she finds Olivia Hughes lipstick marks. If she doesn't look in the toilet. You can look at that. You can look at everything. Everything in the game you can look at, pretty much. So let's go back and give the spanner to go on. There you go, done. Go on and fix the machine, now we can use it. So we'll um, go in here. Now we're in the third dimension. <laughs> um, it's not very three dimensional, but that's okay. This, this music that plays in the third dimension is um, a, a song that I wrote for um, um, to go with night off's video because that I used in a roundup. Some of you might remember that. Um, but anyway, um, obviously if you touch Eve's, it's game over because Chu will just have sex with Eve straight away. But you can go here and um, and you're done. You're out. So you end up in the bad thoughts room again. We can now go back to go on and report on what happened. because Chu obviously wants to get back in there. Um, hi again. You like the third dimension? It's kind of pretty, but it didn't seem all that different. I noticed a distinct lack of in and out. That's because she didn't touch Eve while she was in there. Um, and then you better re reattach some wires. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find a soldering iron. A what? <laughs> Little heat stick. If I find a heat stick, I'll let you know. If you're not sure where to look, you can talk to go and again, she'll give you some clues. Um, So, but anyway, the, the answer to that is to get a cigarette lighter off of Vivi. Now here you can see the cleaners moved on. Death metal bands want for elementary school kids, they love it. <laughs> Not surprising. Um, which band? Um... Obvert. Okay. Um... And groovy. And you can see the cleaners moved on. The cleaners now cleaning the men's because she's finished cleaning the women's already. Um, and here's Vivi, just one minding her own biz. She wants a cigarette. You can use the toilet, by the way. Oh, okay. There's a bug there, obviously, somewhere. Um, need to work out why, but because we haven't used it yet, we should be able to use that. Um, so anyway, let's talk to Vivi. And Chu has worked out that she, the Vivi might have a cigarette lighter. If you talk to Vivi first, before you talk to Go On, then they just have a kind of like a random conversation and they don't do the cigarette lighter thing because Chu doesn't know that she needs it. Um, 
Well, makes you think I have a lighter because you smoke. Can't borrow it. No. Why do you want it? I want to burn stuff. <laughs> um, so once Vivi realizes that Chu actually wants it to help fix Gohan's machine, Vivi's like, yeah, cool. I'll let you have it. Um... But bring it back. <laughs> um, if you talk to Vivi again, she'll ask for it back. <laughs> I'm not done with it yet. Um, anyway, let's get out of here. Um, we'll go back, and now go on and. Go and can sort things out. Yeah, there's no problem. I could have done double doors in the bathroom, but I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> there we go. Now we can go in for the second time. You notice that you can actually see Eve's room's got another access card in it, so that comes in handy later. Um, so we're back. Now in the scrolling area, fancy. Um, how can there be two E's? There's E's everywhere in the third dimension. Um, this is introducing the player to the idea of E's with an aura. If you step into the aura, then Chu will just walk forward and have sex with Eve's. Um, Pretty straightforward. Let's go around the round the tiles here. Sometimes you've got to be a bit patient. Sure. And then we get to the Mega Eves. So Chu obviously cannot resist the Mega Eves and she'll go up and try and have sex and this just blows everything up. So it crashes everything, we have an Eve's too large error, and then we go back out. Now conveniently we've come out on the other side of this door, so now we can move to the next part of the game. Where did Mega Eve's go? I'm back in the real world. Um, now this we give access to um, some stuff but we've got Olivia in the way here and this in now we begin the all the fun of Olivia and Chu hating each other <laughs> which is a common theme with these games say so, we can't get past <laughs> so Olivia's not gonna let Chu pass because Olivia doesn't like Chu very much and she just wants to um, annoyed Chu. Um, this sort of ties into the previous game where Chu wrecks a whole bunch of Olivia's things so it's sort of carrying on from that. Um, and yeah I think it's the same conversation yeah. Um, Anyway, we can go up and um, here's Kim Lip in the gym. She's lying down. Um, oh, and there's some rope in the corner. Why do these games always have to have rope in them? 
Um, hi Kim Lip. Why are you lying on the gym floor? Are you doing a stretch? No, I'm having a lie down protest. <laughs> I refuse to move. Why? I don't do that yum yum song anymore. <laughs> um, so I thought it would be fun to have her complain about that song. That song came out like a day or two before this came out. So this is a very last minute inclusion. Um, So, yeah, if you try and talk to her again, she just complains more. <laughs> I'm not moving, don't try and make me. Um, and with here's a bag of sand. You sure I could use the sand to improve the life of a very sandy individual somehow. Um, so, now we can leave you here. If you talk to Olivia when you've got the sand before you've actually done anything with it, Olivia will kind of react to it, and that gives you the hint about what to do with the sand. Um, and Olivia's so aware that she's up to something. What's in the bag? What bag? <laughs> the one you're holding? I don't know. Probably nothing. I'm trying to keep things tidy. Um, so, yeah. That's that. Um... So this, the sand is used in um, you live in his bed. Yeah, as you can see, the, the cleaner's now cleaning the dorms individually. So if we go here, Chu will actually talk to the cleaner, who is actually Hunju for X April. Um, so she reads a sign. It's hey, Hunju, you're the cleaner. Isn't cleaning it's supposed to be your job? And Hunju's just like, just like shut up because <laughs> she's you know she's got a few mental scars from being bullied so she doesn't really get along with anyone anymore she just wants to be left alone um so so you get so here's olivia's she's bed in the corner because once again the beds are in you know lunar girl order so olivia here is like the last bed so Chu can interact with it and she's put sand in her bed and you can see Olivia Hill's bed's now gotten messy it wasn't before if she searches it again <laughs> she'll say it's sandy hopefully it'll help her catch the tropical vibe ocean vibes and cheer up so now we can go and talk to Olivia and this will um and Chu will tell Olivia about the sand and that'll piss Olivia off enough to run away to the CEO and stop blocking the path. Say, Olivia, do you like the beach? <laughs> yes, I would like to go to the beach right now, wouldn't you? <laughs> or would we have to practice dancing 18 hours a day? What's your point? Twice is that a beach comeback, but us Luna girls didn't get a beach comeback yet, did we? It's not fair. Um, yes, it's annoying. Well, I too thought you were sad, so I did something very special so you wouldn't miss the beach so much. <laughs> you take a look at your bed. It definitely has a beach vibe now. And he's going straight to the CEO. Off she goes. So, we can follow Olivia until we get here. But we can't get in the room so so how do we get in we need um, we need a lock pick now where else can we go we can go out here there's a little pool there's a door and there's Jinsoul And so now we've been told that we can get the pass off Chinsoul off Sora Olivia. But how are we going to do that? Um, oh, there's a monument here. This moral commemorates the death of Luna's pre debut song, Consistency. Long may it be remembered. Um, let me go back out. Um, we can now go down here as well. This is a vocal teaching room. And you've got a piano and organ. If you, if you interact with the middle of the piano or the organ, Chu will play Luna Star. Oh, that's a bit of a bug there. You shouldn't be able to walk through that. 
Um, and she always gets bored halfway through and then just starts bashing the keyboard. Same with the organ version. So, um, there's a chalkboard, and there's some desks, and you can go down the fireplace, <laughs> into the fireplace tunnel. Um, there's a little area down here, and you can go up through here. This gets you into Eve's room, and you can get the card. So now you don't need to... Um, you can just get through Eve's through the door now. You don't need to go the fireplace way. Um, now, if you search the bed, nothing. But if you search it down here, which is in a different spot where the card was, you get Eve's toenail shard. Eve's toenails are the hardest substance known to man. Quite. That's a hint that it's supposed to be used as a lockpick. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So we go in here. <laughs> and here's Olivia. As soon as you walk up to here, she, she'll talk. I like the pass on the front door. Well, you can't have it, so get lost. <laughs> so that—that's all you can do here. Um, so this is the hardest part of the game. This, everyone got stuck on this part. How the hell do you get the pass off of Olivia? Well, here's what you do. You got to go back to the vocal teaching room, and all these desks are once again in Luna Girl order, even though. Because there's 12 of them, so that should be fairly obvious, right? Because every time there's 12 of something in one of these games, they're in Luna Girl order. So she'll search everyone's desk. If she searches, except Eve's desk, if you search Eve's desk, she won't search it. Because, um, you know, it's Eve's desk, so it's kind of special. Because Eve's is special, right? Whereas everyone else, she doesn't care. She'll just search it. Um, now, if she searches her own desk, I never keep anything in my desk, especially nothing naughty. Gosh, no, I would never do anything like that. Um, now, knowing Chu, if you're kind of clever, you'll realize that I'm kind of hinting that there's something there. So if you continue to search it, she'll continue to insist with different language each time that there's nothing there. There's nothing here, really. I don't even know why I'm continuing to search here. There's definitely nothing. No, nothing here at all. Definitely not. And so on. Eventually, what do you know? There's a few things. There's a soju and there's a chocolate bar. Don't tell anyone. Um, so now we're going to go back to Olivia and we're going to bribe her. And first, at first it's the same conversation. But then it's like, what if I have a chocolate bar? And this is kind of just sort of hinting at just how shitty idle diets are. <laughs> this is my, this is how I slip in the social commentary stuff, is, is with this sort of stuff. Because as soon as she tells Olivia I've got a chocolate bar, Olivia just goes fucking nuts and says, oh my God, give me the fucking chocolate bar. Um, <laughs> Blockberry never let us have chocolate. Give me the chocolate. So, have to be nice to me though. Bullshit, <laughs> give me the chocolate. No, nice, no chocolate. You owe me the chocolate for all this shit you put me through. Not going to happen. Um, so eventually they agree to swapping the pass, the front door pass for the chocolate. And so, you, so they do a trade, and then once they've done the trade, Chu just pushes a red button on the desk. 
<laughs> and now choose back down in here. Um, and so we just go back out. So. So that's now done. Um, can we go there again? I don't know. It's just all barred off now. <laughs> So there's a sign here. Linda girls quit bothering the CEO. <laughs> um, so anyway, now we've got um, the front door pass. So now we can go out the front door, which is cool. Um, so now we're outside. We've got the club here. The not burning at all moon. Totally safe and female friendly. Um, Why not come in for a drink? Complimentary limo drive when you drink six or more beverages in one night. <laughs> Don't make us grab you by the arm and drag you in. I'll actually put that line in there because that's actually something that happens in Korean nightlife, for those of you who don't know. Um, like, 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 people will actually... Like, if you're like a Korean girl walking outside at night in Korea, at outside nightclubs, like, they're actually guys who manage the club actually come out and they'll literally drag you in physically into the club um so which is really messed up <laughs> um so it's something to be aware of um and they won't do it to people who look western though and apparently the best way to um stop that from happening is um is to say is to tell them to fuck off in english <laughs> and they'll realize that you're a foreigner and then they'll, they won't do that anymore because they realise foreigners won't put up with that shit. Um, so, but yeah, clubs closed. A little early for clubs to open. They'll probably be open if I come back later. Now, um, here's Hassel's button room. <laughs> Try the blue sample button if you enjoy it. Come in for more. It's just a piss take on the button rooms that were in the previous games. Here's Hassel. And all these buttons do nothing except for one of them. Unlike the other games, one of the buttons actually does something. Um, and which is this one here, this red one right near the end. Takes you into the secret gay sex room <laughs> where there's eggs. Um, and they, the conversation here is really worth experiencing, but I won't play it because um, it'll end the game um, and then you can go through this teleport here this is a good way to get from one side of the map to the other by the way quickly um, yeah I'm sort of relying on the fact that the other games had button rooms that did nothing and I figure well people will probably get the idea and they won't push all the buttons but but there it is um, and also in that room you can interact with all the other things and every and just like in the first few games every single object that you interact with ends up with you having gay sex with Eve. doesn't matter what it is um here we've got chay one's bullying supplies um it's, it's blocked off if we go up here we've got vivi again But she's only here this time. She later on, you won't see her. Um, and I just realised something too. Um, I wonder if the cleaners moved, or if she's still busy cleaning the first lot of beds. She says she moved on to the second. Yeah, she's moved on to the second lot of beds now. And you can see the first lot of beds are now neatly made where they weren't before and and that first and like her engine's bed's actually got a mattress on it now and stuff so she's been doing work she's she's been cleaning um anyway so 
Now, if we try to go back to the teleport, we will find that it's blocked off. And there's a sign saying, and we can see that the um, the uh, 3D transform machine is actually on fire. <laughs> there's a smoke coming out of it. Um, so, so we have to unseal that or get around it somehow. So how do we do it? Well, if we go all the way here, we've got um, Sion's House of Gay. We go in here. In a very gay room. <laughs> There's a sign here. I'm having a golden gay time back later. Golden gay time is actually a brand of Australian ice cream. If you want to use a teleport, you can power it on from the power hut around the back of Blockberry. So that's how you get through. You, you circumvent things by turning on the teleport. So you've got to go around the black of Blockberry, which is pretty easy to do. Um, you go down here and around. Here's the bottom of the balcony where we were at before. And here's, here we are, here's Siwan's gay sex hut. And that turns on the power. You can turn the power off again by doing that. Um, there's a bed here. And there's also a poster. Oh no, a calendar. Hot Republican man meat calendar. All your faves in dapper suits and ties. Plus scent of old Reagan spread. Feel the love trickle down. Um, so we've got the electricity on. So now we can go to Sion's teleport. Go around the big ass building. A lot of um, RPG maker games have really small buildings, but when you go inside them, they're really big. So I deliberately made the buildings kind of the out inside and match the outside as much as I could. Um, not completely, but you know. Anyway, here it is. Now it's flashing, so we can go back here. Now we're back. Um, and now we can look at this. Kind of on fire. I guess that's bad. <laughs> so we just go here, where go on was. Mash the keyboard, I can usually get it working. <laughs> She's done it. All right, so now we can go in here. Entering a challenging area. So I added these bits in because it's really easy to die in the next few 3D sections. So we'll just save a game. There we go. So we'll start off dodging the eaves here. Now we've got quicker eaves. Um, quicker eaves is quite hard to dodge sometimes, so you've got to be on your ball. I thought it'd be fun to have the, a game where there was a bit of arcade skill involved, so that was one of my goals, to make it more than just a puzzle game. So we've got these little arcade sections. And it's pretty basic gameplay, but you know, it's, it breaks it up. It's a bit fun. <laughs> oh, I just got through. And they sort of come in clumps and then there's areas where there aren't any, so it's not too stressful. I didn't want to make it impossible. It actually took a bit of play balancing to get this area kind of right. Because I don't want to make it unenjoyable for people who don't really play these sort of games. Alright, and here's more of the slow eaves. Get around all them. 
this way. All right, there we go. I'm done. Um, hard on a touch screen. Yeah, I imagine they probably are. So here we go with the Mega Eves again. And we're back in here. Um, so now Gowan's in the Bad Thoughts room. She was in there before, actually. Um, but we just didn't check it. And then we've got Kim Lip in here as well. Um, all right. So let's go and try and use the machine again. And we'll see what we've got. Um, now the explosion has just destroyed the barricade. So you can go in and out freely now. Um, we've got another bit of the machine that's on fire. Um, might need some extra help to get this going again. So yeah, we, we can't fix it on our own this time by bashing it. So how do we do it? Maybe even one thing to in Chuck Palinock. Damned, I, I don't know that. So um, if we go back to the dorms, our cleaners moved on to the third area and talk to her again. After she's just cleaned up. Last time she was in Vivi's room, so now she's complaining about the smelling of cigarettes. Um, and <laughs> and she's you know. Just saying, you know, we were all smoking back in Tinkerbell days. <laughs> She's saying, shut up. <laughs> she doesn't want to be reminded of that. So, we will just move on. Um, now we've got Hyunjin here on the desk instead of uh, Jin Sol. They've, they've just had a bit of a swapsy. Um, Uh, they rotate reception duties, the Unilunar girls. Um, so now the club's open. Um, so let's go to the club. Um, we've got all, all, all our favourites in the club. We've got um, Jong Hoon. We've got um, Zico. We've got Sungri behind the bar. And everyone's kind of keen for Chu to have a drink and stick around in the club. Oh, here's YG. Um, John Jun Young, of course. Easy's in my limousine. <laughs> We're interested in coming on to meet her. Maybe after having a drink. Um, so. And who's the other one? John Young. So these are all people who are implicated in Burning Sun, and they're all they're all now hanging around at the not at all Burning Moon. Um, and of course, they only have your best interests at heart. Um, now I can't get out because these clowns are by the front door. But Hopefully they'll get out soon and then I can get out. And here is uh, Cherry, who's always finding herself the victim of inappropriate situations. And here she's in the club. I want to have a drink. Then all these strange men appeared. So she stopped drinking. Um, and so she's saying, well, I wouldn't mind some female company in this club because I feel a bit, you know, not too safe. And she says, yeah, I'll, I'll find someone to keep you company. So as soon as Zico moves out of the way, we will um, we'll get our clubbing on. Thank you. There we go. Um, so a few things have changed. If we go up here, Vivi's gone now. She's had a cigarette or whatever she was doing. Um, but this is open. We can go down here. And here is Yojin. And if you talk to Yeojin before you go into the club and talk to Cherry, they just have a random conversation and nothing happens. But if Chu knows that Cherry needs company, she'll go here and she'll ask Yeojin to come and assist. Um, and so Yeojin says, yep, I'll do that. Off she goes. And so I'll follow her back to the club.
and now Yojin's here, and you'll see that these guys, they're all, they're all, like fuck this, <laughs> and you know I'm going to get as far away from Yojin as possible. So they all sort of hang out in the corner here. Now, this is the next part of the game that's reasonably tricky that people got stuck on, is people worked out that in the bullying supplies shop. there's a 3d transformer box for 20 doge um but so how do you get the money for it um well what you do is you go back to the club and you can only do this after yeojin's in there and because what happens is when this altercation happens where yeojin basically you know threatens these guys um zika here drops his phone and you can find it at the table by searching it. Always dropping his phone. He'll never learn. <laughs> you can find it in here. There it is. Shiny phone. And so now you can give the phone back to Zico. And he'll be very grateful to get his phone back. Oh, my phone. Thanks, you. Why do you keep losing your phone? Just clumsy. Thanks. No problem. Especially like it that you never try to look at the messages. <laughs> hint, hint. Um, and here's a reward. So you get some money. Because um, Zico is so happy to have his phone. So. And. Now we can just. Um, go out. Oh and if you talk to Cherry. She's very grateful. Um, Alright so let's now. Go buy the transformer box. I'm going here. Yes. So now we've got that. We'll use the teleport to go back. To save ourselves going through a few rooms. Um, and back to here and we just interact with this thing place a burnt out box done let's try it again <laughs> there we go so we're back now we can go into the 3d world you want to save your game yes all right let's now this is this is the hardest part of the 3D world because these even this one they'll actually chase you down. Um, they're not only quick; they know where you are, and then they don't move randomly. It is still semi-random kind of movement, and they're useless at going around corners, so it's very easy to trap them by. As you can see, they can't get around the corner. But um, um, but they're still in numbers. They're still quite difficult to deal with. So it's pretty easy to get caught out. So keep moving. Try and lure this one up to where we've got some room to maneuver. There we go. Go up the easiest way to navigate this part is just to go up through this top section. Um, and go down through here. Then up through here. Yeah, they can't get through the teleport, so you're safe from them now. Now the next section is just like random movement eaves again, and it's still pretty tricky though because you've got to navigate a pretty small area. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we'll just load our game. Let's try again.
this one's always a bit tricky to deal with. Okay. I'll go this way this time. It's not too difficult. again. Alright, we're through. Now we're back to the Mega Eves. And once again we're blown up. Now we've got more people in the in the bad thoughts room. Um, but You Jin did great. <laughs> she kicked their asses. Being locked up for a few hours is totally worth. And he's Yeo Jin. Um, people only spend a few hours in this room at a time. Um, so everyone's pretty cool about being locked up for the moment. Um, Alright, so let's go back to here. Oh, and Olivia here's in the way. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hi Olivia, just on my way to do stuff. Not likely. I don't think I'll move from this spot. I'm aware of your tricks. You can't make me. So, fine then. So how do we get it to move the fuck all out? You know, here's what we do. Um, we go back to here now the cleaner has now arrived at the last group of stuff and she's now just quit her job <laughs> because she's just had enough of april of um of luna girls i thought it was hard dealing with those april bitches because luna girls are the limit um so she hasn't properly cleaned up and she's left a whole bunch of junk around if you search your junk We find, um, yeah, Vivi's broken lighter, the storage pass for Olivia's room, um, and some, oh God, what was the other thing? I can't remember. But anyway, we, once we got all that crap, we just go up into here. Now, if we play around with the glass case, Chu will slam the door really hard. I better close it gently. Bang. <laughs> um, I, I think that's very in character. And um, and so now Olivia, he freaks out because she can hear it. She so she knows what's going on. And she's like, oh, better get out of here. So she gets out. By the time she's get out, she's cornered by Vivi, who's who's angry because you know she hasn't given back a lighter. And um, Olivia here. Um, now we get the big confrontation. Vivi, please sustain Chu. I smash her in a pointy face. Um, I hide you anything to say. I found your lighter. So Chu gives Vivi a lighter and um, tobacco pouch as well. And Vivi's like, "Well, I'll let you go." And Olivia's not very happy about that because they had a deal to. To beat the shit out of Chew, but Vivi's, you know, because she's now got her cigarettes, she's just like, well, I don't care anymore. <laughs> so, so off she goes to smoke. Um, you, you, if you look again, you'll find her in the toilets again. Um, Off she goes to the CEO. <laughs> um, you can follow her to the CEO, but she doesn't get in because she's blocked. <laughs> and, um, and we can go back into the toilets as well. And Vivi's back in there having a cigarette again. Um, 
so now we can go back into the transformer room and <laughs> it's still fucked um, still something wrong so how do we fix it what we do is we go and we talk to Siwon this time when we go to Siwon's hut Siwon is actually there um, so we'll go and say hello. There he is. In his captain's outfit. Hi, Siwon. I have a gay problem. <laughs> I'm Siwon. I fix all types of gay problems. Please tell me your issue. Um, I'll try and fix this gay. You see, it's bit, the guy's machine keeps breaking. What do I do? 3D Transform is not gay enough to handle the size of the Mega Eves. You need a special gay 3D transformer. Where do I find it? If you bring me the transform using, I can trans attempt to transform with my gay energy. Um, so, so now we can go and get the old transformer. We'll save a little bit of time. going that way um, go in here now that you know she needs it she'll grab the transformer out and now we can go back to Siwon Siwon, Siwon is a gay hero that we all need in this game Here he is. Hi there. I have the transformer box. What a poorly made contraption. Let's see if I can infuse it with the power of gay using my special gay machine. It is done. So. There we go. If we talk to someone again, it just encourages Chew to have gay sex. Um, and if we look at the transformer box, you can see it, that it's a gay one now. There we are. Like a tree CD transformer box, but gay. Um, some other things in the menus that you may or may not have noticed. Um, is that we've got... Um, choose always level 69. Um, she's got a gay factor, a lust factor, and a care factor, which are all pretty much as you would expect. Um, oh, there's some options. You can change your gayness to on or off. If you play with no gayness, it actually makes the game really, really difficult because Chu goes at walking speed, <laughs> which mean, makes it pretty much impossible to win. Um, why doesn't Chu care? Well, she doesn't really care about stuff in general because she's such a carefree individual. Um, that's why she does so many random things. Um, she doesn't really care about anything that isn't gay sex with Eves. Um, so anyway, now we can go back here. We've got to plug the transformer in. Done. It stopped smoking now. <laughs> the smoke's gone. <laughs> so we know it's working probably. Activation of gay. We're back. Alright. Challenging area. Save the game? Yes. Let's do that. Alright. Now here, this room's got a combination of random eaves and eaves that will chase you. So, um... It's pretty difficult to get through. You have to be very fast. It's easier to do if you don't strategize and you just run real fast all the way through it. No. Oh. <laughs> it's. Run. Oh, fuck. Usually I do it pretty well too. I'm just struggling. Um, yeah. 
We'll get there. Try and try and we will succeed. Oh. Hey, three. All right, now it's easy. Now it's just a maze. And the chews are not very good at following you through the maze, so you pretty much lose them at the first turn. Um, just go down here and around. Um, which way do I go? I think I go this way. And then down here. Yep. It's not a very hard maze. Um, and now here's the end of the game, and we, we basically win, or we don't really win. We win, she doesn't. Um, this is a mega ease. It's time to finally have the ultimate in gay sex. I'm ready for mega gay sex. And now we get the victory music. Because Eve actually starts talking back to Chu. So. You should never have doubted your power. Our gay love is strong and will prevail. Yes, we'll finally be able to experience gay sex in 3D. It will be the most beautiful gay sex experience ever had by anybody this week. With our power of gay sex, we will be able to open the heavens and right all society's ills, at least until next dance practice. Please come to me now, Ease, and we shall experience the wonders of gay sex in 3D. CEO is transformed. You feel it's true. I control all the computing power in Blockberry, a 3D machine that go on stores only useful for making CGI boxes that K-pop groups can dance inside. It's impossible to have gay sex in one. I have special code added to the program so that you lunar girls can't break my inventions. Yet still you try, but your efforts are futile. Now he's actually wrong because if you you know we've we've actually had gay sex a whole bunch of times in 3D. <laughs> without meaning to but anyway it doesn't matter a bit of a plot hole <laughs> um fool misdemeanors you now send to the bad thoughts room for five hours <laughs> no that means i won't have time to have gay six full dance practice that's it that's the end and now you get the bass guitar version of the truth of the thing it's slightly different um and that's it so so there's, there's a couple of bugs I found in that playthrough so I might have to fix those up and do another version of the game which I didn't want to do but I'm OCD so I have to <laughs> and um Yeah.